What's up, mga ka investa and welcome back to another video. Okay, and in this video, um, as seen in the title, we're going to be talking about, or I'm going to be talking about the concept of base counting. And so this is a concept I learned from Mark Minervini in his book, ano nga ba How to Trade Like a Stock Market Wizard. Doon talaga discuss in detail. Tas minorly discuss sa Think and Trade Like a Champion, right? So shooting this video right now, quarantine pa rin, it's April 17. I don't know kailan to post probably um, next week, right? And and yeah, so hopefully na nyo yung last video on journaling your trades. So no time niyan, medyo sira pa yung webcam ko. Tapos na pagana ko so my webcam na sa sa lower left side of the screen. Hopefully mas okay yun, right? So what ano ba yung base counting? So it's gonna be very example heavy today. So you guys can see the concept. So if you guys watch the video, and before you watch this, you should watch my video on the life cycle of a stock, where I talked about, you know, uh, the four stages of a life of the life cycle of a stock: the neglect phase, advancing stage, and then the the topping stage, then the declining stage, right? So if you already know, uh, stage two uptrends, that's where most of the money is made, right? So stage two uptrend, dun yung you know uptrends, and then in Elliott term waves, that's the wave three, right? So obviously that's where the big money is made, right? And in stage two, right, if we want to participate, we have to find areas where we can purchase a stock, right? And within stage two uptrends, there there's what we call basis. Diba? And yung base that's basically um a place where you can get an entry. It can also be counted as a continuation pattern. It's also um, for you to know where the stock is in its long-term stage 2 uptrend. Diba? So, let me give you an example. Here's Wilcon. Right? So, basically, yung mga base na it's, like, it's basically a continuation pattern. Diba? And the best area, the best base to buy is the first base or the second base. Right? Because in the first and second base, um, the stock, right, it's not yet in the public's radar. Diba? Hindi pa siya masyado tinitignan ng mga tao. Right? Hindi pa siya crowded trade. Hindi pa, hindi pa rin nareko kung sino-sino. Diba? Tahimik pa siya. Right? But it's beginning on its advancing stage, right? Pwede pa rin naman yung base 3. It was also still a good area for entry. Pero mas marami na nakatingin. And then after base 3, 4, 5, 6 and above, medyo late stage basis na yun. Diba? So, yeah, That's a basic example. Diba? So if you were able to get Maybe we'll call it base 2. Diba? Sell. And assuming lang na benta mo dito sa area na yan. Okay, diba? But there's one thing you need to know about uh, counting bases. Right? So, obviously, you want to get it base 3 and below. Diba? Or better base 2 or base 1. Right? But, note that the higher stage bases, base 4, 5, 6, hindi yan sell signal. Diba? It's not a signal for you to sell. Right? And say, ah, base 5 na, benta na ako. No. It's... Late state bases are just basically places. It's there to let you know na okay. Uh, late stage base na maybe I should go for a shorter swing, right? Di ko na masyado, or at least if it's in a late stage base, di ko na siya iyo hold for a bigger move without selling on the way up. Because right? if you get it at stage two or at base two rather, di ba? Early ka pa eh. right? Of course, pwede ng mauntog, but if the market conditions are right. And if you're in a strong stock, ah, but yan, base 3, 4, 5. But, you know, high probability, right? Especially kung bull market. Right? So, let's say, for example, you got it at base 4. But obviously, you you would want, you would be more cautious na. Right? You would be more conservative. Maybe, instead of using EMA 50 as a trading stop, you would use EMA 20. Right? Or maybe you would sell on the way up. Diba? Or sell when the trade is 2R. Right? 2R meaning... Say, risk mo 7%. Yung cut loss mo 7%. When the trade's up 14%, na doble mo na yung risk, pwede ka na mag-trim. Di ba? Dito. Right? And note, yeah. After base 6, it broke down below uh, EMA 50. Right? So, that's a good area to sell na. Especially if you got it at an early stage base. Di ba? But, yun ang yari, right? Parang yun ang yari, nag-shake out lang eh. So, I would actually count this as just one big base. No, and then like seventh base pa, and then after that, the you name breakdown, right? So etong buong area na to, base six and seven, that can be counted as the stage three, the topping phase, distributive na yung action niya, right? As you can see, very mas diya siya katulad dito staircase pocket, staircase pocket pa rin, but you know, 
Mas choppy na yung price action, then nag-breakdown. So there. Uh, more examples. Let's go to wholesale. Again, base counting works stage 2 uptrend. Stage 2 uptrends usually come about, especially during bull market. So of course, during market crashes, like ngayon, mahirap makahanap ng ganito. Right? So, di ba, market crash, ganito yung tura, magka-crash, and then mag-run up. And that's when you can begin counting the first base. So, dito kay Holsim, I traded this personally. Oh, my big winners on 2019. And so, galing siya sa stage 4, decline. Then dito, nasa neglect phase. And then, nag-first run up na siya. And almost double your money bounce. Di ba? And then, what I wanted to see is, I wanted to see if kaya ba niya mag-base. Is this something na hindi lang short-term bounce, pwede ba siya going bigger move? So at this point, I was waiting if it could break above 10 pesos. Right? So I got it here in the retest. Wait, saan ko ba kinuha? Yeah, dito. Sa red candle na to, at around 10 pesos. So I got it over here. 10 pesos. And then knowing that I got it in stage 1, I was looking to hold it for a bigger move. And I base 1, and then yan, nag-base 2. And then I added a little pa dito sa breakout ng base 2. So I had my full position at that area. And then, yeah, do ba say news na inacquire siya ni San, San Miguel? Do dito sa candle na yan. Diba? So that's a good area for you to sell into strength. Sometimes, especially when it's catalyst driven, kahit early stage base pa lang, mag-run mag up na yan. Eh. Lalo na pag may catalyst, di ba? Right, so nag up siya 37% a few days. So that's a good area to sell into strength. Then after that, yan na. Kala ko yun base 3. Pero yun pala, it was more of a distributive phase na yun. Hindi niya siya nag-break out ulit. High sa niya, 15. Hindi niya na retake yung 16 levels. And then yan, distributive na. Nag-break down eventually. Nag-retest, then further yan, naging illiquid na. But another example of a stock na... Ay, hindi na pala ayos yun dito na. Another example of a stock na... Early stage base pa lang, bigla na lang, ano na, nag-spike na, would be ISM. Actually, after the initial run-up, stage 1 pa lang to eh. Ay, sorry, base 1. Okay, the once nag break out, lumabas sa yung news eh, di ba? Na third telco and everything. So, umakit na siya almost 140% in a few days, right? And then nag-base, nag-consolidate ulit dito, pero faulty na. When they break down, and then at this point, naging very distributive, right? Choppy price action, boom area na to. And then eventually, nag break down siya. So, that, these are cases na kung saan, hindi siya staircase pataas, kasi may news, may catalyst. Pero ito maganda, another 2019 trade early in the year was house. Diba? Again, stage 2 uptrend, pero maraming bases in between. Right? So me, knowing na I was able to get it, diba? initial run up, I waited for the consolidation, I got it, new 52 week high, and then somewhere sa mga 10 nag all time high, and I got it sa first base. So I was looking, so at this point, dito ata nag-sell ako na onte into strength. Diba? Kasi, ang tasa niya eh, 41%. Of course, it went higher. I, I trimmed mga 50% ng position. And yun na, base 2, I held it na for the bigger move. Nag-trail ako ng, I think, EMA 20 ata yung trail ko dito. Right? So again, base 2, still a good area where you can get the stock. And then base 3, pwede pa rin. But knowing na it's in base 3, if you're gonna get it there, you might want to sell it um, into strength. Right? Trim on the way up rather than holding for a bigger move. That's tighter, maybe tighter, ano, uh, trail stops, di ba? Yan, 4th base. And then after the 5th base, right? Nag close below EMA 50, and then yan, oh, that's na. Di na masyado pens, and then nag break down. So, this is stage 3, right? The distributive phase. Next, let's look at now. Okay. So, see now, nung nag run up siya to 20 pesos. Ito yan. Yan. But let's look at the weekly chart. Guys, you can also look at um, longer term charts. Of course, mas maganda pag longer term base yung basis natin, no? Kasi mas significant yun. Right, so looking at now, ito yan eh, first base after the spike from 50 cents to mga 130, that's the first base in the longer term uptrend. And it consolidated halos, ano to? 
two years na consolidation, right? And then nag break out sa four. So then we go back to the daily chart. So, take lang. Yo, we go back to the daily chart. Nabigay po siya na isang opportunity for entries, third base. And then, yan na. Nagka-rapid move na. In a short period of time. So, good area to sell into strength. And then dito, naging sobrang choppy na yung price action. Uh, here up na yung trade at these levels. So, base 4. Yan na yung distributive phase niya. And then after that, wala. Nag-breakdown na. Tapos nag-retest pa. Retest, then wala na. All that's... Right? So, that's the power of base counting. You get to know where you are in the life cycle of the stock. And if you get it at a late stage base, but you have, you're mentally prepared to know that you might have to sell it into strength na, rather than hold the entire position in a bigger move. Right? You have to slice on the way up. But if you get it at an early stage base, you can hold right majority of the position for a longer term move. Next, si Mac. At one of the big winners in 2017. Right? Obviously, if you got it at base 1, so guys, base 1 is always the consolidation after the initial run-up. So from the neglect phase to the beginning of stage 2, went up almost to, went up 150%, then consolidated. So the ideal buy point, diba? Right? So base 1, so 4 pesos. Right? If you were able to get 4 pesos, right, you solid na. Before the second base came out, it was already at 8 pesos, so 100% gain ka na. Diba? And you could have held it na for a bigger move. Ang ganda na na average move. And even if you got it at base 2, it was so balas pa rin, you could have held for that big move. Diba? And even in base 3, kasi of course, at this point, it was a bull market. So of course, with the right conditions and the right stock, it was so balas talaga yung potential for a trend following it. Diba? With a full-size position. Right? But if you got it at base 4, diba? it's more likely na you would need to sell na into strength, which happened here. Diba? So nag-top na siya sa base 5. Then broke down. So, yun. Right? And then, yan. Nag-sumayaw sa'yo pa. Distributive na stage 3. Di na siya chill lang. Diba? Try to re-break all-time highs pero nauntog. And then eventually, yan. Nag-break down na. Next. Let's go for Tugs 2017 then. Bull market. Right? Again, concept is the same. Diba, maraming kasi nag-iisip when a stock comes from here, goes up 117%. Maraming yung nag-iisip na wala na top na yan, 100% na yun ang ate. But in a bull market, right, with the right conditions, that can just be the first step pa lang to a bigger move, diba? So if you waited for a consolidation pattern to form, you bought the breakout, base 1 pa lang yan. Diba? That was still base 1. And then we had the longer term base 2 forming. The first great entry here would have been the break of this downtrend line dito. They could have added more here. And then, yan, nag, nag top siya sa base 5. Yan. So again, later stage base. So if you got it at base 4, diba, dapat mentally prepared ka na. Even at the bull market, you should be mentally prepared to know na late stage base na to, I should maybe just trade it. Diba? And then, yan. Nag break down na sa key moving averages. And guys, remember lang, um, di talang talaga ako makahanap na yung magandang example. Diba actually, saan mo magandang example? Anyway, last example for the video. I just want to note lang, di ako makahanap ng magandang example sa Philippine ano, market. Pero sa US, marami. Ito, ito 2012 pa. Yung magandang trend follow opportunity dito. Yan. Actually, so in late stage basis, what you want, especially if you think the reason why you should be looking to sell at late stage basis, 4, 5 and above, is usually when a stock, a market leader mag-top, mag-top yan in the form of a climax top. Meaning, then umaabot yung stages. Ay, yeah, see now, di ba? Teka, yan, sige. Balikan natin si Pip mamaya. Usually, when a market leader tops, erratic yan, or sobrang lakas. Diba? Dito, after the stage 3, diba? ito na yung climax top niya. Eh. Diba? It's when stock would go up super fast. Diba? Ang bilis ng price appreciation. Diba? And then, erratic yung top niya. Diba? After going to 20, bumaba all the way to 10. Diba? Tapos, yan, ang, ang hirap ng, ang pahit ng close. 
Ang supply max stocks, when stocks go up 20, 30, 40% maybe, di ba 40? Say 15, 20, 30% in one day. Di ba? Sa late stage base. That's the golden opportunity for you to sell into strength. Lalo na kapag late stage base. So, syempre, kapag dito, di ba? Early stage base, base 2, it went up 40%. Do you want to sell there? Diba? Knowing na we were in a bull market at the time, and then my catalyst, of course not. But at this stage, diba? late stage base, nag-run up na sobrang lakas, right? erratic yung last candle niya na red, diba? yung dito. This is a good area na actually even if you weren't able to ride it up to 20, even at this stage, if you sold in a, like maybe 50%, okay ka na eh, kat, na, naka-lock in ka ng gains eh. And so always remember, sa late stage base, you know, there is the potential for a climax stop, lalo na if we're in the right market environment. Tapos, that's the golden opportunity for you to sell a good size of the position into strength. Into strength meaning habang paakit yung stock. Diba? Di mo na aantayin bumagsak tulad nito. Kasi from 20, bumagsak hanggang 10. Hirap nun, diba? So, yun. So, for our last example, si Pip. Ang nalala ko lang to, si dati binabasa ko yung blog ni JC, ni Imbang Klase. Eh. Kasi ito yung isa sa mga big winners yan noong 2012. Noong nag-start pa lang siya. Tapos yan, naalala ko lang. Tapos stayed lang ko. Nagana kaya yung base counting dito. And guys, just note lang. Guys, sorry, medyo lag lang yung laptop ko. No? Medyo luma na kasi yung ginagamit ko. So guys, um, note lang na yung base counting, this is actually very subjective. Diba? There's no fast and hard, hard and fast rules. What's important is, it just let it just gives you an idea where you are in the stage two cycle, diba? So same thing happened here. After being in the neglect phase, run up almost fifty percent. Then the like first base, best area to buy it, knowing that you got it. I believe twenty twelve was a bull market, knowing that you got it after the first consolidation here, could have held it for a bigger move, diba? So second base, third base, and then again same thing. The fourth base, even if you got the breakout at the fourth base, it still went up around twenty percent, diba? Which is more than decent. Okay yun. But you need to be mentally prepared to know na potentially baka mag either climax top na siya or mag major top na. And that's what happened. Diba? Nag double top and then nag konso pa na onti sumayaw pero it was already below key moving averages. And then wala na. Nag breakdown na. So ito yung stage 3 nung time na yun. Then nag breakdown. So yun lang guys. So that's really it for base counting. So always remember base counting you use that stage 2 uptrend. Stage 2 uptrends usually happen, obviously, in bull markets. Diba? So, best base to buy is base 1, 2, or 3, pwede pa rin. And bases 4 and above, but you can go all the way to base 10, kung malakas talaga, right? But bases 4 and above, if you get it at base 4, you should be mentally prepared na to sell it. Or if you have it at a lower stage base, and it's already at base 5, you should also be mentally prepared na paka ito na yung top. Or, dapat mag-trim na ako, tas mas conservative na yung approach. Diba? Tas just always follow your trail stop. So, yun. So, best thing to do now is to backtrack some of the best leaders in the past maybe 5 years. Or sa mga bull markets, check nyo yung mga market leaders. Tignan nyo kung applicable ba yung base counting noon. So, now we're in a market crash. But if we're able to turn around, if when, once we get to that first leg of the next bull market, diba? there's going to be a lot of leaders that emerge. And counting the bases... Participating in stage 2 uptrends can help you, you know, take advantage of those opportunities. So, yun lang guys. Hopefully, na provide ito ng values, na value. Any questions, comment nyo lang sa baba. We'll do our best to answer it. So, yun lang. Kita-kits tayo sa susunod na video.